Hello, hello, this is Arcades, and welcome to another bit of a, uh, update episode to Stormworks Film Rescue. Uh, this is kind of a follow-up to my previous episode with the, um, with the, uh, oil spill update. That one focused mainly around the intended purpose of the centrifuge and collecting oil and collecting the seawater, separating it. Now I'm going to go, I figured what I'm going to do this time is go more into alternate methods of getting rid of an oil slick. These are a few that came up and that were addressed to me in one of my streams recently and that I've seen out there and I figured I'd just make a small video about it so you can have, know your options. And like I said, there might be other ways. Feel free to address it. Say something. Leave a comment. If you like what you see, enjoy what you saw, leave a like. Leave a like, subscribe, all that fun junk helps me out and uh, help, gives me reason to make more of these uh, videos that talk more about the tech part of the game. So, anyways, let's get into this. Alright, so, uh, if you remember the last one, here's Bottle Rocket with its uh, <laughs> mashups. I've got uh, setups that I'd like to take a peek into. So, first one is, I've heard somebody said something about using a hose to siphon out water out of the uh, tank, seawater. I have my doubts on this one, and my stream that I had recently confirmed it, and I'm going to demonstrate and see if it happens again. Otherwise, I'll have to clip what I got off the stream. Uh, another one we had fun with was using a fire uh, fluid cannon and just putting a straight nozzle <laughs> onto the system. So, and each of these are hooked in. I decided to hook it up to where I don't have to go into there to start filling the tank. So this button right here will activate the doors that are down here on the side, as you can see. Um, those doors right there. And they'll begin collecting. And you notice the water is kind of clear versus the last time because I wanted to actually take... Uh, see how thin what thinner water would a thinner mixture because I've seen like a max of like a 50 50 mix of oil to water when you bring it in but then the ratio goes down from there so I want to see what a thinner mixture would do with these because when I was testing some of these it was a much larger difference between the two so the whole point of this is going to be testing these few methods, methods I've seen that do not involve a centrifuge. And that's the intention. So the first one I'm going to test, we're going to go from the back front. Here's a straight nozzle, fire nozzle. Now, also, I will be describing how the probably the best way to use that particular method uh, for its intended purpose. Or what one of its intended purposes could be. So let me go ahead and fill it up. I've got, like I said, I've got the fluid meter right there. Oh, that's for a different tank. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Should be filling. Yes, it is. Actually, let me address uh, something else first because I forgot about it in my little intro. Okay, so in the video I had made, Previously, I had talked about using distillation taps, or I call them taps. I keep forgetting what the actual term is. Um, I know it's distillation something. I'm being horrible. I know this. Uh, it's these things right here. Distillation port. So as you see, I got six of them here, and they're all registered in collecting oil. And I slightly showed them off previously. Because you see, there's not a, there is a concentration, but not a big concentration. That's coming out of these things. So these, I want to get into more of these, but this is collecting from another source tank and bring it in, into here. And it will allow you to separate the oil from the water without actually having to separate the water, so to speak. Because they're doing all the separating for you. And that just leaves you with a room full of seawater 
which I'm still trying to figure out. Oh, there it is. See, there's a 10% a mixture in here, probably including whatever I pulled out. So Now, the distillation tap thing, there has been something I notice every now and then. I don't know what causes it to change like this, but... I stack these up, assuming that these two, that these were going to stay oil, but they seem to switch over to diesel every now and then, and I'm not sh exactly sure why. But these here still do, um, these are still going at the speed. Now that's probably the only problem I've seen with the, with the distillation port method, other than it's also gets to be slow as hell times. I don't know why this is going so slow now. Seriously? Okay, there it goes. All right, uh, and so we're gonna start pumping all that into this tank here. I think that's more, more than enough. We can work for with this. Okay, so we're at about it's a 10% ratio. In other words, one one of the, uh, one oil per 10 units of water. So the first one we're going to hit up is this one, the nozzle, the straight nozzle. Now, the the point they'll make these successful is it can't bog up the parts. Uh, some of these other methods that I've seen, my biggest concern with it is that the fluid ports will become blocked with an unusual material because and some of these are only designed to use water coming out of them. Now this, as we see, this is working. It's taking six liters a second. Now the question is, is it actually separating the seawater or is it just shooting a concentrate volume out? Uh, it looks like it's just shooting out. The volume. It's not actually cleaning it. It's just turning it into a spray and possibly just deleting it. Um, yeah, that looks to be exactly. It's literally just taking it straight out and just probably deleting it. Because I don't think it ever retains the uh, water that's spit out from this in areas. Okay. So we'll shut that down. Next up, fluid cannon. Again, the same practical purpose as this, but uh, yeah, we're going to see if it will uh, continue to spray it out. Does it actually shoot it? Does it delete it? Does it get clogged up? And preliminary on that came out worked pretty well. All right, so we got our stream. And it's looking like it's doing the same. Actually, it seems like it's spitting out more water than oil. Yeah, no, it looks like we're good on that. Uh, yeah, but it is kicking out more seawater, so... But I think it's going to be the same thing. It's basically turning it into a particle and just deleting uh, the oil. See, I'm still not fully convinced yet. Okay, well, that's running... I want to pull out another test. Just doing a full straight on fire hose. 
actually, let me go ahead and turn this one off. So we got it. So we got our numbers. So 1442 and the, all right. And uh, well, this is interesting. Okay, um, a hose seems to be... No good. Just using a straight hose is no good. Alright, I'm gonna undo it. So we got a fresh hose, so to speak. Uh, nope, that's... Put that down, put this back up. No, I don't think it's the actual hose. I think it's the port. So what if we take this? Or no, not that one. Uh, take that, put that in there. Now detach that, put that back there. Cleared the port. Looks like it's sustaining this time. But how long will that last? And there it goes. Yeah, no, uh, I guess by technicality, it's still working, but eventually that port's going to get filled up and it locks up. You'd be better off just using like a hose, one of these here. Okay, so I'm back in here. I made a quick adjustment to um, the ship. I've got a pump here that's going to be spitting oil out to here. It's going to be drawing in through one of the doors. This door is now inactive. I am going to have this pump available to pump out seawater after the distillation is done. And we are going to... I'm going to put that there. No, no, actually... Because right now what I'm going to show is that this is, you can create a pocket in your ship to bring water in to distill and shoot out. So I added another fluid meter right here. It's for that room. And so when I hit this button, it's going to turn on the pump and open the door at the same time. See, doors open, there's the distillation port. Can't show you the pumps exactly on, but. There 
as you can see, it's not a lot, but we have something coming in. <laughs> Now the only problem that I've seen with this method so far is that in the end it requires you to be moving. It requires you to exchange fluid in and out of that one room. You know, out of that small space. And without some way to forcing the, it to move, it's just going to sit there and stay as water. Now, let's see if, uh, now let's uh, see what happens with these things at a more denser uh, ratio of stuff. So as you see, we got a much thicker, uh, uh, robust amount of fluid. So I added a uh, switch to the door over here. So as you can see, it's an even ratio, damn near even ratio, 50-50. So I've got nearly a 50-50 mix of oil and seawater inside the storage tank. I'm going to pump it over to the main tank over here. And then we're going to test these all again and see how they end up. Uh, first thing I want to try is the hose straight up. So I got open and... Uh, yeah, that didn't take long. Okay, hose still just as ineffective. All right, now let's try the swivel cannon. It looks like it's taking more oil than water, but it still looks like it's overall pretty even. Okay, so that looks like that works well enough. So the, okay, now I want to get down and try one more thing. I actually think I'm seeing an 11 in there. See, yeah, look, they're currently oil now, but and sometimes they flip over to, this now is in making the ratio a lot thinner, or actually thicker technically. So this is now greater than 50-50. That's like 60. Well, I'm not sure. But it's definitely greater than 50-50. Favoring the oil. Oh yeah, this was already backed up. Hang on.
Ah, uh, that's also a big negatory once again. Ah. Uh. This should be just fine. Now, all these methods, except for the distillation ports, are essentially about destroying the oil. Because, like, even though that technically was working, the, the hose for what little time, it was... It's destroying the oil by turning it into, like, a particle effect for, for water. And outside of the distillation taps, which actually separate, separate the oil from the water, that's what all these methods are for. Okay, so in hindsight with all this, it seems like, yeah... All these methods that are alternate to using the centrifuge for erasing an oil spill, the best one, way is just being able to take it into the craft and then disposing it from there. Um, because it, it just... I tried a few other methods. They didn't have any real noticeable results to show you. And, yeah, so let's go over what it is. Like, so I tried the fire hose just straight up, the hose by itself. Yeah, those ports, that port got clogged up. The, depending on the ratio of oil to water will determine how long it takes, but if you've got greater than 50-50, it's going to be quick. It goes down in less than a second. So I wouldn't bother with that. Don't rely on it. It's, it's not going to work for anything. Then you have this thing, which... I mean, it worked at the higher ratio, it worked at the lower ratio. When I mean higher ratio, I mean more oil than water. At the 10% ratio, where it was 10% oil, you know, it was one unit of oil to 10 units of the other one, uh, it didn't stop. And at the 50-50, it didn't stop. And greater than 50-50, it didn't stop. So that's one way, and it, and it uh, destroys the oil so to speak, because it's just throwing it out the window, so to speak. <laughs> we have the, uh, <laughs> then we have just the nozzle on a pump. That works too. Again, just like here, it's just, it's just throwing equal parts water, equal parts oil out. Whatever it was before, it's throwing it back out. Uh, and, yeah, it's... They're methods for destroying the oil. So you're destroying the mixture. You're not actually trying to recover any oil. Those methods are good for that. Now, if you actually want to recover the oil... Distillation taps are your your the distillation ports are your method of choice because they pull it straight out of the water. They pull it out, and depending on how things going, they might be a little finicky about whether they're oil or they're diesel if you stack them up in a certain way. But they are literally just pulling oil out of a contained space. Uh, trying to think of idiot, uh, and I think that was what those were four. I did try a few other items and they just didn't really work out. Oh, and you can use like a distillation port facing outside directly, but the problem is is that contained space that the distillation port has to be made a part of, like right here, you gotta have a way to move the fluid in and out of it. You gotta cycle it, or otherwise it's just gonna end up stale in there and it's just gonna be one fluid never exchanging out and then the port never works. Uh, yeah, so, those are at least five different methods. I mean, some of them are of the same stuff. I did have a few other things. I might show them as extra. I tried using an air, an air, uh, air fuel manifold, and it didn't work. And I'm going to put that in quotations, because it was eating something. There was, like, flow. But... I never saw anything that said you're cleaning up pollution. 
Like, nothing says you're cleaning up pollution faster than just putting the fluid in a tank, like that did, and just saying, I'm going to process that. So, yeah, uh, overall, centrifuge, probably still the best absolute way. The distillation taps, least headache, as long as you can get them set up right as well. And if you just want to delete it, you have other options. But, yeah, the hose... Just stay away from it. It don't work. It's it, it just blocks up the port and makes the hose unusable. The thicker the, 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 thicker the mixture, the faster it clogs up the port. So, anyways. Hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed the watch. Hope this was informative and helpful for finding other ways. And uh, I might try to find out some few other things. Oh, and uh, one other thing. There is one other way that might even be even faster. Whoops even face no face ah. anyways is literally just taking in swallowing into a tank carrying it over to a thing and just despawning it just despawn the entire vehicle fluids and all and it just disappears it's probably one of the faster ways if you're not trying to recover the oil if you're just trying to get rid of it just stick it in the tank and go despawn it that is probably the fastest way to get rid of an oil slick. Put in a large container and then despawn the container and come back and rinse and repeat. Straight up the easiest way. If you the only thing you're gonna do is delete. So well, anyways, like I said, this is Arcades. Hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I'm signing out. Have yourself a good day.